So moving on with the poppies now to the third stanza, we're going to run on a little bit from the, the second stanza because there's a crucial uh, run on line, a crucial enjambement there um, that we're going to look at. Uh, and we're going to pause because there's so much to look at in this third stanza, so much going on. All my words flattened, rolled, turned into felt, slowly melting. I was brave as I walked with you to the front door, threw it open, the world overflowing like a treasure chest. A split second and you were away, intoxicated. After you'd gone, I went into your bedroom and released a songbird from its cage. Later, a single dove flew from the pear tree, and this is where it has led me, skirting the churchyard walls, my stomach busy making tucks, darts, pleats, hatless without a winter coat or reinforcement of scarf, gloves. And the full stop at the end of that, of course, makes us pause again to, to reflect. But let's start um, at the end of stanza two, because at the end of stanza two, she's saying goodbye to, to her son. Um, it is the, the point at which he's heading off to, to war, heading off to join the military. And she's probably got a pre-prepared speech something that she wants to say to, to her son, to tell him how much she loves him, to tell him how proud she is of him, perhaps all of those types of emotions that, that you would want to say to a child who is, who is heading off anywhere, let alone heading off to war. Um, but she can't get those words out. All my words flattened, rolled, turned into felt. So again, we had that, that image earlier of um, the face softening um, and the emotions coming through and, and this idea of turning to felt again the words just soften they're not quite there with what she wanted to say exactly um, slowly melting the, the words disappearing but also melting that that idea that perhaps the emotions pour out and she's perhaps in tears rather than being able to uh, eloquently say what she wanted to say to him um, in, in that key moment in both their lives I was brave as I walked with you to the front door. And look at all of the mother's emotions that come through, parts of which we, we've just covered there, uh, slowly melting, the idea of those emotions coming out perhaps, um, that, that release, uh, if you think about it literally, melting is, is, is the release of, of liquid, isn't it? And perhaps we might uh, metaphorically apply that to, to tears. Um, I was brave. It's quite ironic, isn't it? Because actually it's the son, perhaps, who's being most brave by going off to war. But it's equally brave for a mother to let your child go off to war. And, and being brave, perhaps, again, that, that steely um, determination um, to, to not show your emotions when, when that's all, all you want to do, really. Um, but she was brave. And, you know, this, this is a poem as much... Um, about a mother and a child as it is specifically about a, a mother with a, a military son really it's about all those emotions of of letting your child become independent and letting them fly the nest more so um, when he's off to war um, I was brave as I walked with you to the front door now the door you've got to think of what what literally a door is a door is um, a gateway to the outside world. So we talked earlier on in, in stanza one about um, the juxtaposition of the domestic, the household and uh, the military. And actually the, the, the door acts as a, as a gateway to the outside world for, for the child. That is the, the, the last point of contact really with home physically, isn't it? So the, the front door acts as a symbol to um, going out into the world and um, to the front door threw it open the world overflowing like a, a treasure chest now the fact that the door was throw open thrown open this is the the son's enthusiasm his excitement this is what he's wanted to do he's wanted to join the military he wants to go off and uh, and, and join up um and that simile the world overflowing like a treasure chest if you think about what a treasure chest is it's such opportunity it's such excitement there are riches there's excitement there's um there's there's unknowns out there that the, the child just wants to go out and explore and the mother recognizes that because the the door on one side is domesticity is, is the household she doesn't want to hold him back she doesn't want to um 
hold him from from his own independence she doesn't want him to become reliant on her she wants him to go out and uh, and experience the world so it's extremely important this this simile that despite her worries despite her concerns about what might happen um, in war she wants to give him that opportunity it's his choice um, and the last thing that she will want to do is, is, is to stop his his freedom um, a split second and you were away intoxicated a split second everything seems quick um, and and I don't think it's just that second that seems quick his whole childhood seems like it's gone by in a, in a flash to her because we've got all of these childhood memories um, tumbling out like the Eskimo um, but also the the speed quickens from here on in as we hasten towards what we assume is is the soldier's death everything seems to be a blur for the mother it seems to pass by in no time at all so he's gone so quickly um, both in the first instance gone off to war but also gone in that final tragic um, death um, that, that, that he suffers at, at war um, a split second and you were away intoxicated intoxicated suggesting his excitement um, he wants to be out there he wants this is his ambition um, and he's fulfilling all of those dreams that he's had as a child to join the army so um, there's no nerves on behalf of, of the son he's, he's desperate to get out there desperate to to, to join up and, and fulfill all of those dreams after you've gone I went into your bedroom release the songbird from its cage so this is our key image for for this particular session um, and it's it's a metaphorical image birds are symbols of being trapped if they're caged and you can imagine why you know the idea of flight and freedom uh, are so closely related it, through literature there's, there's countless examples of that so actually trapping um, the bird is, is considered cruel so the, the mother here is reflecting on the fact that it would have been cruel to keep him in and, and it hints at the, um, the the inner conflict that she's having perhaps in, in allowing him to go away uh, to the army. She doesn't want to stop his dreams. At the same point, there is that worry there, but she's done it. She's gone and released that songbird from his, his cage. And again, we've got the idea of not just a bird, but a songbird, a songbird that's, that's off to, to do good. So if you think of, of books like uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, um, and Atticus Finch saying, um, you know, mockingbirds don't do anything but sing for us. Um, the songbird is, is traditionally a symbol of, of bringing joy. And, and actually the army's role, of course, is, is to bring about peace, to bring about help to, to nations and people who really, really need it. So again, it's that sense of pride. The son is the songbird. He's, he's off to do good in the world. He's off to help people. He's off to, um, to, to bring about peace in, in another part of the world. And so she's released him. She's given him his freedom. And again, it's that juxtaposition between pride and worry and she'll always be worried but she had to do it she had to let him have his his freedom release the songbird from its cage later a single dove flew from the pear tree and this is where it has led me skirting the churchyard walls we've got an extended metaphor of a bird here so we've got the songbird and then the the dove the the dove is a bird of peace and perhaps now we've got the the first real hint uh, at what has happened to the son. He is at peace uh, and sadly that probably reflects his death. Um, she's released the songbird and he's come back as a dove. Maybe he's achieved the peace that the army set about to bring wherever the, the, the son has been posted. Um, but to me it suggests that, that death, that he is at peace, the ultimate peace of, of death. Um, and that extended metaphor of what she sent out and what came back is, is a juxtaposition as well, isn't it? That, that she sent out somebody so full of life, so full of um, willingness to do good in the world and he's come back at peace. Um, it, it could be positive, I suppose, the idea that he's brought about peace. Given the rest of the, the poem, we have to read into this that, that he's died, sadly, overseas. Um, and it's 
brought her to the churchyard walls. Now, why would we go to the churchyard? It's a symbol again of, of remembrance, isn't it? The, the, the graves alongside the church. And it brings us back really to, to the first images of the poem, the idea of Armistice Sunday and the poppies being laid um, on individual war graves. So we're coming back in, in a cycle here to, um, to the idea of death um, of soldiers. And um, we've got again the emotions of, of the mother we talked before about slowly melting and being brave. Now her stomach is busy making darts, tucks, and we don't need to imagine too much that 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 pain of of grief um, and, and what it does to a parent, to a mother who's who's brought this child into the world, has made her feel feel sick, feel out of control with um, with her body, um, and again. The emotions of the mother link to um, the, the the sense of, of military because she's her stomach is is making darts, pleats, tucks, it's it's churning up, but without a winter coat or reinforcements of scarf gloves. We've got to think about why she's out there. Um, she's out there to remember him, and she's perhaps dashed out there without thinking of herself, without thinking of the coat and scarf and gloves that that she needs um, and that's possibly uh, the, the release of that grief that she feels she needs to be there closer to him um, but the use of reinforcements is is crucial as well that image very much of, of military language um, that links his death of course to his involvement um, in the military maybe that is a sense of bitterness um, at what has taken him away but perhaps more the the sense of pride because there is a sadness through the poem but bigger than that is the sense of pride he's gone out to do good in the world and she's proud of him for that and the emotions of of, of grief can't take away that emotion of pride as well pride in what he was trying to do for the world